Wait a minute. Pa, are you telling me that you built a time machine out of a DeLorean? Hey guys, Brad M73 here. Welcome back to the Eagle Moss Presents Build the Back to the Future DeLorean. Uh, we're going to be doing issue 56 today, which is the circuit board. And um, we've got a bunch of wires, so I don't know if this is going to be another um, repeat of issue 48, which was the wiring nightmare. But um, yeah, so we've got, looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different wires, four screws, and the circuit board. Um, looks like we're going to be plugging plenty of things up as well as attaching it to the back of our car here. And unfortunately, we don't actually connect anything yet um, and, and fire it up. I was wanting to get everything fired up. Um, coming into land, special effects provided many thrills in Back to the Future. And often there was a practical to, so, to the solution to a complex problem. All right, cool. And then Darlene Vogel. Mm. Spot. She looks way better there than she ever did there. Um, and then after, in the next issue, we have the bulkhead, the upper bulkhead, which is going to go up here. Um, so I'm looking forward to getting started on that. Um, we do have the, in that issue, we do have the Christmas tree. And, but, and then I think it's the issue after that where we get the flux capacitor. So... All right, let's get started. <laughs> it's always kind of fun to look ahead. Um, all right, so first of all, let's take this out. Nothing left, all right. So we have some wires. So we've got three, <clears throat> two, one, seven, 13, 20. Twenty-one here, which is a big long one, and four. Okay. And we've got our FP screws. So let's see. I guess probably the easiest thing to do would just be to set it here in the plastic to protect the back. <clears throat> and then we just go down through and connect all these up. So we have one and apparently it says, let's see, push the end of lead 56B marked one into the circuit board in the position marked zero one. And I've seen on a lot of videos where they say that you actually want the, the marked one, because this actually does have a little number one on it, to be facing out like it is pictured here. So um, there's one, there's, whoops, ah! Uh, maybe this was a bad idea. And number two. Is that even in there? Yep. And then number three, I guess. Push it, mark number three. I mean, how easy is this? Um, next is what? Number four. There's number four. Um, next is number seven, which is actually, there's basically, I think it looks like six on this little block. And then there's another uh, block down here with number seven. There we go. Uh, number 13, which is at the end of that block. Next, we turn this around for 20 and 21. So here's 20. And let's see, 
23, 22, 21, and 20. Okay, I guess that's it. And finally, 21. Okay. All right, we zoomed right through that one. Um, next up, we attach this to the back of the car. Okay, cool. Um, so, let's see. What do I have that I could hold this up with? Hmm. <laughs> I wonder if I can use... Oh, that's almost perfect right there. Okay. So we have FP screws here. Of those monsters out and then this looks like it's going to attach with the uh, big white connector here to the upper right so I'm just going to put this try to get this thread started here okay I I think it's kind of started, but not really. And let's, um, oh. Let's do the opposite corner first. Okay, I'm definitely gonna need more torque on that. Uh-oh. Oh, that makes it much easier. Yes, much, <laughs> much, much easier. Really? I thought for sure I'd have some magnetism on there, but I guess not. Uh-oh. Oh, no. It goes in just fine. It looked like it was kind of off-center from the hole there. But um, I guess it was not. And whatever you do, do not over tighten these because you don't want to crack the circuit board. Um, that would probably be super bad. But you know, you want it snug, but you don't want the uh, screws to be over tightened. Okay. All right. So, all right. So we've got that. Fix the circuit board. All right. So next we have to look for lead number five, which is come on now. Is it this one? This one doesn't have a mark on it. Push the end of lead 40J mark 5 onto the circuit board. There is not a lead marked 5. That's a problem. We have 18, 14, 17, and then we just have this, you know, yellow one. But 
it does show that it's like a double yellow coming out of here. So I'm going to go with my guess that this is probably number five. And if my model blows up later, then by golly. The other thing I, I'll note is all the, um, like the little pins here, like the metal, you know, visible parts all uh, face one way. So there's not one on one side and there is on another. So, but yeah, there's definitely not a number five. So I'm going to put the uh, metal parts all facing this way since that's, that's the way it's showing. Or Well, that's the way all the other ones are doing. Or facing, I'm sorry. All right, so there's that. Uh, so five, and then we have 18. Which is this one. And where does this one facing 18 here? Ooh, this is a little tight, but yeah, I guess we got it okay. Huh, or I wonder if the rest of these were supposed to come under that little tab there. Well, uh, let's see, so there's 18, what is this one? 14, well, let's see, 18, 17. So that's 14, this one is 17. Is that seated all the way? Okay, and then 14. Which is the very first one on here, nice. And then, let's see, everything else is gonna hang off, I guess, I don't know. I think these are all possibly going to like you know, front headlights, rear lights, brake light, I mean, who knows. And then as far as this, you know, I don't know if this plug, this doesn't really look like it plugs in. Well, no, it does say F and R. So I guess that would go in there, but it doesn't say to plug that in yet. So um, I'm not gonna do that, but um, that is the end of issue. Uh, fit, what is this, 55, 50, no. This is 56 all right that is it in the next issue we've got the upper bulkhead and uh, I will see you back then until next time please hit that like button as it helps me out tremendously uh, leave a comment let me know how I'm doing or you know let me know what I got wrong on the circuit board hopefully I didn't get anything wrong though and uh, if you haven't done so please subscribe for this and many more videos I'm Brad M73 and I'll see you next time bye for now